What we're on here is a an old ditch line. You can see it come around this corner. They've stacked up this big old retaining wall here. And then the water was flowing down this edge right here. Really neat stuff. Looks like they had to cut through some solid rock here for the ditch to flow. And this ditch goes upstream or up the canyon, a mile at least. And but what I'm really here for is check this out. Hard to say for sure, but when they were digging this ditch through here, they may have discovered some gold in the in the process of digging the ditch, which is not an uncommon thing in the gold rush era of digging miles, hundreds of miles of ditches, that they would have came across gold bearing ground or just gold itself. But see this ditch right here, this little cut coming uphill it's on the uphill side of the ditch. All right, so what's really neat about this is it starts out at this little trickle of water. Trickle of ditch here. And then it progressively gets bigger and bigger. And it leads up to what I would classify, let me stack the rocks, what I would classify as a contact on between serpentine and I believe it's a metavolcanic of some sort. This is all serpentine through here. Let's see by, the, by the, the green color. It's pretty soft rock. And this ditch continues to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Cutting deeper into the hillside. They didn't dig holes like this for nothing. This was dug dug intentionally, and you can see the stackers, the little stacker piles of the cobbles off the sides. And I'm walking, I'm walking on pretty solid bedrock at the bottom. Continues to get bigger, it opens up. And I'm almost up to the face. And here's the face. And this is where they've cut in, kind of gone both directions. So they've gone to the right, they've gone to the left. And this is where it starts to get fascinating right here. For one, here's this material. <clears throat> and I can't remember the name of it, but what it is, it's evidence of the epithermal hot water solutions as they were forced upward through the rock and then solidified in this formation of it's basically kind of like half melted rock or maybe it was melted rock that kind of solidified back into these states of vugginess it has a name and I can't remember the name right now fascinating stuff fascinating so that leads me to uh, that's a clue of this being a pocket digs where there would be pocket gold and here's where it starts getting fascinating we've got the left hand side of the ditch and the right hand side of the ditch over here you can see it's soft loamy very green I'll dig over here in the shade it's very green this is nothing other than just rotted serpentine here off of that bank. Here's another good example. Rotted serpentine right there. Oxidized, very oxidized. Then on this side of the ditch, what do we see? We instantly see a major change in the material. That's brown. That's a different host rock right there. So that means between here and here is a contact straight up that line right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a test pan sample of this material right here. And if I recall, in the past I've done this in this spot. And this material right here was loaded with heavies, full of black sand, which would show that this would be a highly mineralized little zone right here. 
So we're going to take this pan out. We'll go pan it on the way out. And that is what, this is what a pocket digs presumably looks like. And what I would do on this area, it's brushy, it's not the easiest, but I would circle this area with my metal detector, especially down below maybe, the other sides of the ditch, circle it looking for any more remnants of that surface enrichment of gold that presumably was right here.